Hi friends, today we're talking about rational and irrational numbers, especially in real world situations. Now, the first thing I wanna remind you is rational numbers. There's a word here that's hidden that will really help us understand what a rational number is. That word is ratio. Remember, a ratio is simply just a fraction. So if you have a number that you can write like a fraction, then it is a rational number. Irrational numbers are ones that can't be written like fractions. And the two most common ones are non-perfect square roots. So things like seven, root seven, that's not a perfect square. Uh, if it was a perfect square, like let's say root nine, that is three, right? We know that the square root of nine is three, so that'd be a, considered a rational number. Uh, but non-perfect squares, the other one that you'll see a whole bunch is pi. So if you have a number that is a non-perfect square or that it's pi, when you get to algebra two, you'll be talking about this letter E. That's another one that occurs. It's kind of like pi in that it's a number that does not stop. And that's really the um, idea behind irrational numbers. It's a decimal that doesn't end and doesn't repeat. Everything else is rational. So once you've determined if a, if a number is rational, then what you have to do is determine, is it an integer, whole number, or natural number? Let's work our way from the bottom up. Natural or counting numbers are things that we use to count. One, two, three, four, so on and so forth. So we go up with those guys. Whole numbers include all those natural numbers, which is why I've gone ahead and put that box right into the whole number box, but it also includes zero. That is gonna be the key. So whole number includes zero and our natural numbers. Integers include that whole number, that zero, that includes counting numbers, but it also includes their opposites. And what I mean by that is the opposite of two is negative two, the opposite of positive one is negative one. So it goes in both directions. Those are all of our, so integers, whole numbers, natural numbers. Now, other numbers can be rational and not fall into one of those categories. Things like three fourths, that's written as a fraction, so that's definitely a rational number. Um, 0.3 with a line repeating over it. That can be written into a fraction as one third. Therefore, it's a rational number because it can be written as a fraction. Okay, so, uh, and, and for things like that, for fractions and decimals, those are not gonna be considered integers, whole numbers, or natural counting numbers. So let's talk about real world situation. If we had a, a case where we had the number of girls to the number of students in a classroom. So the number of girls to the number of students uh, in, in a classroom, that's called a ratio, right? Now ratio can be written like this, or it can be written as a, as a fraction. Let's say there's 10 kids in the class and there are seven girls. There is a fraction and a fraction is just another way of writing a ratio and a ratio is a rational number. So the number of girls to the number of students, that would be a rational number. Now let's talk about these individual parts. The number of girls, that's seven. That is a rational number because it can be written as a fraction, right? We can turn any number into a fraction by putting it over one. So uh, the number of girls, seven, that, so that, because that is a fraction, that means it's a ratio and it's a rational number. Is it an integer? Absolutely, seven would be considered an integer. Is it a whole number? Absolutely. Is it a counting number? Absolutely. So you wanna go with the one that is the smallest thing that it is. So if we say it's a natural number, that also means that it's a whole number and an integer. So we don't have to say those two things. So we look at this and we say, oh, that's a counting number. Same with 10. The number of students in the classroom is 10. So that would be considered a uh, natural or a counting number as well. Hope you found this helpful.